the thing that they put in? Yeah. Because it's fancy, is it? <laughs> here right now he's asleep on my lap <laughs> he's gone. um you can't see him but um yeah today we've decided we're going to do a video about ghana in december yeah by and it's by passport heavy we've not yeah. done a reaction to passport heavy yet no nope, no nope. and we thought since we are in december why not do something about december yep and all right so yeah Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Yes, it's a bit early, but you know. <laughs> yes. In case this video comes out a bit late. A bit late, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so yeah, man, this time we're going back, we're going to Ghana. So yeah, we live a little bit of south and then we're going to west. And then uh, yeah, Ghana is a very nice country. Uh, very peaceful, beautiful. So yeah. Somewhere definitely. we really want to go to. So this oh, will be yeah, good definitely. for us to if, look at. Now, anyway. Now, and then now, yeah. I think if we are visiting, we will make sure it's around that that time December. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm told that's the best time to go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The best time to go to a lot of African countries like December. Yeah. All right. You ready? Let's, let's do it. Let's go. So Ghana was literally one of the best trips I've ever taken in my entire life. Literally, I had fun from the moment I landed until the time I left. I didn't even feel like leaving. And I just felt so at peace in Ghana. Uh, and it was just a lot of fun. And also just a cultural experience. But I want to talk to you in this video. Uh, this is going to be a brief video, and I'll have a big in-depth video a little bit later on. But this video is going to tell you everything that you want to know about Ghana in about five to seven minutes. And so we have, I'm going to talk about accommodation, the food, the night. I love when you plan, you like, you go, oh yeah, this is only going to take like 10 minutes and then you take like 30 minutes. Yeah, 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 like, yeah it's going to take like 10. Is that what he said? No, 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 he said, gonna, he said, just said, he said, it's going to take five <laughs> minutes, five minutes. And then wrote, wrote a comment down below. Did you see the comment down below? It's going to take 17 minutes. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that <laughs> is, yeah. it's down below. Oh, yeah? It always happens when you're doing a video or like a vlog. You're like, oh yeah, this will be real quick. And <laughs> You actually edit it and you go, oh, but I really want to add that bit, that add bit, that, that bit. bit. I know, it's crazy. It keeps crazy. growing and growing, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, true, yeah, true. we had the best intentions and then yeah. it always happens. End up going for uh, uh, one hour. <laughs> like, so if you, you're a vlogger or anything and yeah. this happens to you, yeah. I, yeah, it happens, yeah, it's so easy to do. Yeah, no, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Like the visa, um, some of the inside things, you know, when you want to get your hair cut, ladies, if you want to get the pedicure and manicure, you want to get outfits made, all of that is coming up in this video. <laughs> in the airport and he's in one outfit and then there he's in Ghana in his holiday outfit uh, like yeah. as he turned like how cool as is he that? turns like he, he, he adds that he adds that um uh, like kind of a trailer trailer thing to it yeah it's yeah, cool isn't it that touches to it yeah. I love it I just love the music and the music yeah you get the nice touches actually you know baby you see that building that's the um yeah black square it's a square, so this is where they do the independent and like oh. more, more like, the, like gatherings and that. Yeah, I'll take you to Ghana. Definitely. I'm so excited. I'm yeah. so excited to visit yeah. Africa, guys. <laughs> Yeah, he has to add all the stars in, doesn't he? Yeah, all the stars. <laughs> He's like name dropping. Name dropping, Kaepernick. Yeah. 
for his little Why is guy? Yo, is it Baby Diago? No, 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 Baby Diago. So he is a lad. Gay, gay, yeah. What's his name? Uh, yeah, yeah, I forget his name, bro. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you guys get the day, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments, say something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Our memories are like, Ooh. Oh man, yeah, let's go. And then in the middle of the night, I'll be like, oh, that's his name. That's his name, bro. I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, always. I've, I, it's, it's at the back of my head. It will come to the front and I'll remember it too. <laughs> Before the end of this video, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> So first things first, let me talk about accommodations. So the flyest place that I stayed in Ghana was Kwale. Yo, this hotel is super fresh, and the rooms are like the size of an Airbnb. So I was like, I like this, right? You got a fridge, you got a living room, um, and depending, you can go from like the studio joint, which is like twice as big as a regular hotel room, up to the three bedroom penthouse. Um, super fly spot. And then um, also second best place, I would say in my opinion, is Kempinski. And this Kempinski. is a super huge hotel, while Kuala's is more of a boutique hotel. But um, that place is also super fresh. And then another week, it was about a couple weeks ago. Wow, you look like you have a bit of money for that. Right? <laughs> that Kempinski on Kuala is just like, hi, hi, and stuff. I know. I, you got, uh, the, you're up high and, and you also have like a house. I'm almost. telling you, almost, yeah. It's a penthouse. Well, that's what he, he's brought up penthouse. So penthouse, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, but we're all like, oh, wow. Yeah. We have to do better at this YouTube we gig. Do, <laughs> we got the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and, and holidays are expensive, man. Right? Oh, I know. Wow. But look at that. Oh, Kempiski. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. We stayed um, in an Airbnb. So Airbnb has quite a few options, and then pound for pound, that was probably the best value that I had for the money. Nine. We had like a three bedroom unit, and that was like $175 a night in a super nice area called Ridge. So you can see the Airbnb here. And then there's all different options, right? You can probably find a decent spot. I'm not talking about December now. December, like, prices are, like, tripled. Yeah. And I'll talk about December a little bit later on towards the end of this video. But I'm just talking about going any time of year. You can probably find a decent Airbnb for about 40 bucks. Like Noah says, December is the best time to go. I'm telling you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Or if you want to you wanna travel, it's all booked out. It's just they put, it, they put the price up. Like, uh, was it last year? They was, it was, Ghana was fully booked with December. There was no people couldn't get um, apartments, rooms, what, and everything. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That was you know? That's it right. It was all booked. That's why they try. Right. That's why now they're putting up um, apartment, residential apartments up so that you know people can have to, most of those. If you have those ones in Ghana, you make a lot of money, right? It's wow. just like people traveling for holidays, December, a lot of time in LA. Oh, wow. Crazy, man, crazy. Because Europe's quite close to some of the African countries. Not close, but it's like yeah. a six hour flight compared to Australia going anywhere. Now I'm there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Australia, true, true, we true, just true, go true, true. travel 14 hours. It's to true, get that's, why, that's why when you watch um, one of my videos, he's, up, up, he's into uh, like real estate now. Because yeah. that's what he said. He said, like, like he said, YouTube channel can just disappear at any time. So all his money he's got in from YouTube, he's investing in you know, real estate. Yeah. So he's getting like apartments and apartments and that and that. I love it. If you rent them out, oh man, it's good money. Yeah, I love looking at all that stuff. It's yeah. so, yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. Tonight, you know, and then they go all the way up to, you know, something like three, four hundred dollars a night for, you know, crazier oh, spots. Nice. So let's talk about transportation. So Uber is a plug out there, super easy to get around, you know, just have your phone ready and just like anywhere else in the world, you know, you order your Uber. My only gripe with Uber is they don't have any bigger cars, bigger. they're all pretty much small. <laughs> for your own you know, type of cars at the time of recording. So Uber, I hope you, you know, step that game up and have some more options available. Or you can get a private driver. Right, so there's um, you know yeah. private drivers that you can Thanks. drive you around for the day. And I want to talk to you about visas because this is actually a little bit different when traveling to other places. I was actually in the president's office and they said you That's know they're working on uh, putting this online and making it an easier process. So shout out to Nadia. You know we, we talked about you know the changes that they're making, but now wow, you know you've gone up in the world, but you go oh yeah, I met with the president, like all casually, like. 
This is what I do every day, guys. Slack. I tell you, Brian, you'll see the fancy guy. It's so yeah. chill. It's so it was chill, like yeah. it wasn't like oh yeah, like it was a section for the pre no, it was, oh yeah, that was the president. We yeah. discussed it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that man. is crazy. That is. Yeah. 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 That's next level. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Crazy. As far as now, what you need to do is you need to apply, and what I'm going to do, like I said, I have an ultimate Ghana guide that you're going to be able to access. So I said the link's going to be in the description of this video, and you're going to be able to know everything that you need to do, especially if you need a visa rush, you know, I'll have all that information. But if you need a yellow fever shot, and you can't enter the country without having these two things, a visa. So if you're coming from the Western world, you know, you have a Western passport, this is something that you need. But if you have like a Nigerian or a Ghanaian passport, or you know, a West African passport, you don't need a visa. Today. But yes, <laughs> no, yes. So I can so I can just walk in. <laughs> get, get, get out. Then I have to do it the day. The, 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 uh, yeah, the visa and the uh, yellow fever shot. <laughs> oh, oh, you have to do the, the yellow yellow fever shot. Yeah, yeah, yellow fever shot and the visa. I that's what it those. says. Yeah, yeah. Cause we are Ecowas. You know, Ecowas like West African yeah. body is just say like um. Yeah, so we it's just like EU, let's say. That's so yeah. good they do that though. Of course, yeah, you can travel into each other's country. I heard like, most of the West Africa, like they, most West African countries do that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do that. We can travel to Ecowas for. I can go to Senegal, I can go to Nigeria, I can go to Ghana, Ivory Coast. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. But it's like here, we can go to New Zealand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of like that. Yeah, you can just go in and go out. Yeah, yeah we don't need a passport really, like, but yeah. we take it. There's still some rules, but. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, babe. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm saying. Ghana, here I come. <laughs> I want to leave Sal behind. Oh, hey, because, hey, because, hey, because, hey, because he's doing the, uh, the visa process. Oh, that visa. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like visas. They're annoying. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. All right, let's, let's go. go. But you also still do need a yellow fever shot. And then on arrival, shout out to Ghana, one of the flyest, cleanest airports I've ever seen in my life. It is truly a world. Oh wait, did you hear that? You still need the shot, babe. You huh? need to set up the shot. Oh, so did you said that at the end after we. Oh, we also need to do the shot. Yep. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, did you hear that? Yellow fever shot. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I still... Nah, you could do that. Let's get good. Class airport. airport. I can't even say I was expecting an airport that fly. So shout out to Ghana yeah. on the airport. An amazing job. And then talking about things to do, man. Big up to my wage crew. My trip would not be the same without them. They introduced <laughs> me to everyone that I needed Impressive. to know. And now yeah. I can go ahead and share with y'all everything that you need to do when you come to Ghana. Yeah, and really so cool. I'm just so grateful. Shout out to my entire wage crew. We had Opal, <laughs> Miss St. John, Pops. Yo, wow. I appreciate y'all to the fullest. <laughs> and so, things to do. If you want to get flagged, if you want to get your hair done, there's a spot called Hair Wrap. So you got women's salon downstairs, you can get your hair done. And then upstairs, you have a male spot where you can get. Literally, they've got like uh, like all the drinks on top. So it's just like a fly gentleman spot. It's more of like your upper class place where people get their hair done. Also, I got to send a shot to, um, I was just rolling around looking for a local spot. I went to like a local shop. You know, and his prices are super good. I think I paid like three, four dollars for a haircut. So depending on the vibe that you want, and what we'll do spot is in Osu, really good area. So, you know, don't fret on that. Yeah. I love that he covers everything. Everything, like, right? Your haircut. People <laughs> even think of, like the haircut. Like people do too, because like especially if say you're not from Africa yeah. and like and you're a woman and then you want to get the like the the hair, uh, the hair done, done, like you know that's kind of new for you know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's so cool. This dude that. is very like he's detail. very detail into detail, man. Yeah. And very clean. Like, yeah, it's very good into details, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's so good. I like his videos, man. I like yeah. his videos. So, ladies, when you come into Ghana, you might want to get your petty, your Matty. Polish is a spot to be. I'm not like, yo, I like to get my Matty, my Betty every now and then. And <laughs> this one, you feel like, you know, you're sipping champagne, you know, the chairs, you feel like royalty sitting in these chairs. Service is off the chain, location is great. Shout out to Polish, man, they really took care of the boy. Polish. Yeah. There's a reason I never hit my fitness goals. 
Cupcake Boutique, man. Um, they were they were the 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 over. <laughs> when I got there, I was like, this is hospitality. They yeah. really have cupcakes with our name on it. And I'd give them a shout out even if they didn't have my name on the cupcake because this place was just fly, fly, fly. 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 And so, like, literally, every celeb that comes right. to the top, this is where they stop in to get that. Guys, you gotta hit that uh, cupcake. I'm telling you, cupcake place, right? Yep. I'm telling you, right? Yep. Damn. Bro, I can't wait to go to Ghana. Yes, I'm excited. So excited. Oh man. Cookies, you know, some juice and some cupcakes, man. I'm telling you, you can just see by the visuals, this place is special. <laughs> and ladies, if there's something I know about you, I don't want to judge, but the majority of you love to shop. And so when you're talking about the most luxurious shop in Ghana, all the celebs stop there, yeah. internationally, local, Kua is that spot. And so they got some of the flyest handbags. And so I had a couple of girls sitting there like, oh my God, can you bring me back a bag from Kua? I saw, ooh, ooh, you know, wearing the bag. And so I stopped by the store and, you know, the place was phenomenal. Ooh, that's nice. Now, fellas, if you want to get fresh, if you want to get a traditional outfit made in Ghana, there's only two places that you want to go. There's my guy, Chocolate. And yo, when celebrities come to town, it does not matter if it's a CEO of Twitter, you're talking about Idris Alba, Steve Harvey, you're talking about literally anyone. They come to town, they go to see Chocolate. Literally. It's like, it's a sin if you don't. But now, his clothing <laughs> yeah, are also yeah, like sure. the Rolls Royce. So babe, we're going to take you there. Man, man, yeah, I like your kind of stuff. I have one. I, you know, I, like, I get, I got from uh, Food Scrape. Yes! Yeah, this, this guy does it. Oh, so you, know, you see Family Feud, it was that um, when, when um, Steve Harvey was doing Family Feud in South Africa. Yeah. The ones that he was wearing, is this, this dude make them? Yeah, I think he dropped like he said that. He so said yeah, that yeah, this yeah, guy, yeah. And, and he's the one with the round pin. Man. His logo is the round pin. He makes them on his shirt. Wow, yeah. Yeah, bro, this dude is great. He's doing great, man. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Of clothing, and you know his prices started about four hundred fifty dollars. But the way, he, like, I got an outfit made. He came, he saw me, uh, measured me. And a lot of times he can do it without even measuring you. Whoa. He is just like one of these geniuses when it comes to design. And then based on your personality, he'll whip you something up. I got mine, I was like, yo! <laughs> this is why I was getting compliments on my piece from everyone. So most people don't got a budget though. Like his piece start at 450 a piece. But I say, yo, it's one of those things that you got to get one. What's 450? Is that a Ghanaian CD? I or was, was it? Babe, well, uh, like, mine's a leaked, babe. I was thinking yeah, the man. same thing. Like, what? I wish you'd say, like, because it could be American it, and it's completely different if it's American. And... Uh, Ghana, Ghana, yeah. Ghanaian CD, bro. Is this a, four, is this a 400? But I think, like, one, one, uh, one um, a US dollar is, like, 15 Ghana CDs. Is it? Yeah, 15 Ghana. Yeah, the currency, the currency is good. Yeah. We have to work out at what Australia. Ours is like one Australian dollar is like 36, 37. Aussie, Aussie dollar. <laughs> 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 oh man. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Like one of them and all of his pieces that are made too are one of one it's crazy he literally has a hundred thousand different pieces of fabric in his plate a hundred thousand and so just pure genius when it comes to that now the second guy is my guy alex so for me i got 500 a day budget to be rocking out throughout the whole trip and so this is more like your five series beamer right or your e-class van it's like it's a nice joint you can't go wrong with it and so this is like what alex has and then his joint start like 125 and literally he'll make you you tell him what you want you tell him the fabrics that you want so come to his spot and measure you or it's not him you know one of his people will come and measure you and if you, can, if you tell him like an exact look if you want you know he'll go ahead and make that or if you have like a custom joint you know he'll go ahead and make that happen. So shout out to Alex, you'll see all the fits I got from him. I got a few different fits, and then, you know, this is pretty much what I was wearing. Yeah. Man, there's nothing regular about Ghana, so why fit in when you can be custom, baby? God damn it! <laughs> 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 oh, that is something that you would ask. Uh, like, that, I can, I can that's, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Well, I, can't, I can't wait to go to Ghana. Man. I'm so excited. Well, Ghana is one of our things now. South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, by, uh, Tanzania, bro. We're gonna go everywhere. Yeah. Senegal, Gambia, bro. We're gonna go everywhere. Hey, 
Hey guys, if you think we should go to so tell us, write it in the comments. If yep. like, we have to hit that spot up. And tell us what the best city is to go check out in Ghana. If you yeah. are Guardian or you are a traveler, put it down there. Put it down, man. Yeah, put it down. Because yeah. we've got to organize that trip soon, babe. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. I'm These just... people are getting sick of us saying we're going. Yeah, yeah we're going. We're never going. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's do yeah. This. Oh, man. Without eating right. Now, let me know in the comments. Ghana Jello or Naja Jello? <laughs> you know something. Senegal Jello. Hey! You guys are gonna hear about the other West countries. No, 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 Senegal, nah, Senegal, bro, nah, Senegal, come on. Senegal. It's not this, like, he keeps picturing Nigeria, but it doesn't picture Gambia. Oh, so, but because, oh, because, you know, uh, there was one time, uh, what is his name? R Richard Guest? Richard yeah. Guest from CNN. Wow, went to Africa and he was asking which one is the best Jello. So, and then these Ghanaians yeah. were like, oh, is the we have the best one, and then. Nigeria, so it's, it was between, ah, it was between okay. them. Uh, no, okay. Senegal was not included, but Senegal is the best for uh, Jollof no. for life, man. Nah, Senegal, bro. Nah, Senegal's the best. Yeah, Senegal is the best. Nah, it's Senegal. I think Jollof rice is really like it's more Senegalese, you know. Yeah, it's very really uh, Senegal. Yeah. Well, I've had Gambian mm. next to my hubby over here. Yeah, 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 I've had Cameroonian. Oh yeah, you have Cameroonian and you have Ghanaian. Yes. Too? And Senegalese, I think I have because we had it at the African. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Our community yes. meeting years, so you have the Senegalese too. Yeah. And which one do we have again? Cameroonian, Ghanaian. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we look out for restaurants here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But food, bro. This video, this video, I'm excited where he's talking about. Yes, no one likes his food. Yeah. Uh, you probably have seen pictures on Instagram of us eating yeah. lots of delicious yeah. African food that he yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we go bro. see. Yep. Or you saw our YouTubes about certain restaurants. Certain restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Bola foods. Bola, Bola, yeah, Cameroon, Bola is Cameroon. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're still looking to go to the uh, Guardian restaurant. Guardian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours, yep, Amos, yep. Yeah, that's Guardian. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Yep. That Let's video see. will be coming soon, too. Yes. Yep. When we finally go. <laughs> when we go, and yeah, we always want to go, but it's always shot, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> ah, but yo, you can't come to Ghana without eating, and there were so many different options. Yeah. And so, I'm just gonna go through a few of them with you right now. <laughs> now, there was one culinary experience that really stood out from the rest, and that was from Binta. So, she literally travels all over the world. Chef Binta? What's Chef Binta? Hey. Bro, that's Senegalese or Gambian, bro. Bita is Senegalese <laughs> or Gambian, bro. Uh, see, what's up? See, what's just have a, have a shop in there? Well, bro, that's Senegalese or Gambian. Chef Binta. <laughs> well, Chef Binta must be Senegalese, bro. Binta is, a, uh, is either a Gambian or Senegalese name. Yeah, is either Gambian or Senegalese. So is it? Yeah, Binta. You know, you remember Binta? Yeah, yeah, I remember Bita. Yeah, yeah Bita is a uh, Bita. You know, you remember uh, you met you met a uh, Gambian girl named Bita. You remember my, yeah, my sister's in Austria. Friend? In Austria, yeah. yeah. So it's very Gambian or uh, Senegalese. So yeah, she must have the best jollof rice. That's why this dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. she must be cooking the best jollof rice. Let's go. Oh, this is funny. Chef Binta. Um, sharing um, her local food. And so, like one week she's in Germany, another week, she, you know, she could be in South Africa, she could be in America. Wow. And so, if you're lucky. This guy goes to top end, top end, top end. Like, I'm telling you, bro. We're never gonna get in there. Come on, never get in there. <laughs> the chef travels around, bro. The chef's been to South Africa, yeah. been to America, been to. Man, these are top end. You know, you know, everything that is top and they put a little bit, did you see the little bit thing that they put in? Yeah. Because it's fancy, is it? <laughs> it's expensive. You don't understand, my husband feels, it yeah. fills up the whole plate, don't you, babe? I feel the whole plate, you eat it and you're full, you know? Yeah. But if you go to the fancy one, they give you a little bit and then they splash and crunch it into it. That's your thing, and how much is it? $500. Yeah. I truthfully, I don't really understand. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, if you're paying top dollar, mm. like that, the flavor bus bursts into your mouth. I'm if it's that you. small yeah. and you're paying that, uh, I've never gotten it. That like, lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I grew up eating everything and anything. <laughs> and if, if, 
like yeah. hopefully my dad doesn't watch this, but if my dad cooked, it tasted like nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, I, don't, I don't think, have you gone to a fancy restaurant? I think in Austria a little bit. No, we remember when we went to Geelong and we thought we, like, it wasn't even a fancy restaurant, but we felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you remember? It was a Geelong, but no, it might have been Williamstown. I can't remember. Oh, William, was that Williamstown, is it? Yeah. Oh, yes. At the beach, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's true, man. We went there, bro. The game was a tiny bit, isn't it? Yeah. And it cost a fortune. Oh. And like, damn, why did we come in? And I was like, all the food was all like fancy type stuff. And I was like, I don't know what to order. I don't know. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. can we just get something smaller than this? You get your sofa, broccoli and then, um, and a, uh, a, what is it called? Um, uh, what is it called? It's part, uh, what is what the thing with that has so many legs and yeah, is it, is it um, water is it? Crap. No, no. no crap. Oh no. Octopus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and how much is it? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> But yeah, and they gave you only one level of the octopus like this. We actually did a video on it, guys, <laughs> so check it out. But um, yeah, it was yeah. yeah, that was so funny. Was no one looked at me like, where did you take me? Yeah, bro, they give they don't give us too many food and it's expensive, bro. <laughs> I like it big. I wanna go to the the street, the, you know, the where they have stalls, they have yeah. food trucks. Aha, uh -huh, that's me. <laughs> I'm the same too. I like it too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so funny, so funny. Let's go. Happy to be in town when she's see, around. See, I highly it. recommend it. And my people over at Tastemakers help set up this whole experience. So shout out to my Tastemakers. Oh, you now, see, Fulani. Now I in Ghana. Bro, Fulani. You see, I told him once we Senegal or Binta, it must be Guinean or yeah. Senegalese or Gambian. Binta, come on, man. Yeah. Man. Telling. It's one of the top places in the world when it comes to nightlife. So I wanted to share a few of my favorite places with you. So now, if you want to get outside the hustle and bustle for a little bit, one of my favorite places, about an hour and a half outside of Accra, is in Adab, is Aqua Safari Land. This place is. Fly, 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 they got the jet skis. They... This will be Aziz's mm. favorite place. That's what I'm saying, he bro. loves water. Oh, I hate being poor, bro. <laughs> God, dang. Hey, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe and yeah. oh, share these videos man. so we can stop feeling poor. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Sorry. It's so a nice. out there, bro. It's so nice, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, I just I saw it and I was like, yeah, Aziz would love yeah, this place. Yeah, Aziz loves that water, holy water. I love he water. He loves water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sand and into... water and stuff, he loves it. And you have to get you into those swimming lessons. Yeah, yeah, I can't even swim. Yeah, we have to sort that out, yeah, babe. Yeah. They got the boat, they got a nice resort, and it's just pure relaxation vibes. And um, I was actually out there with my homies from the Toaster Vibes, so they were in town as well. So we just had the most amazing time, you know, sunset all around, drinking. Yeah, toasted life. I don't know what's the toasted, I think they, 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 they organize shows and stuff. Oh, okay. Events yeah, and stuff, yeah, 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 I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really, Gloria, um... Gloria, Gloria Atamu. It's good mm. how he does this, though, that he actually, when he puts him in the video, he... Oh, this dude, man, this dude's kind, videos are yeah. really good, you know, I like his videos. Because people don't do that, that's yeah, really nice. Yeah, damn. So flowing, and I can't tell you how amazing that spot is. And there's a little secret location as well. This cigar lounge is about 15 minutes away, and you would think you're cigar in the lounge. most exclusive elite speakeasy. Yeah. When you talk about the most elite whiskeys and cigars, and so this guy that grew up in England was like, I just want to create an oasis away from everyone. And like, yeah. I just could never imagine yeah. this place. In Ghana, I was like, what is this place? It's about 15 minutes um, away from there, so wow. I'm not even going to say much, just look. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, it's amazing if you think of an idea, Yeah. Like because it's like here in Australia, mm. we have so many different cuisines because people come here and go, man, I want to eat this food, where's that food? Yeah, yeah, and then they so create different. a restaurant. Yeah. I'm telling you, you know? And then the Australians end up loving it. Like, Bubble tea, my yeah, it is tea. everywhere. Mm, yeah, tell you People what. are obsessed. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Now, one of the coolest things that we did is just actually get to know the people. And so people always have a perception of how Africa is in general or how Ghana is. And so I just wanted to show you how I live when I go to Ghana or I go to these other places because there's always two sides to a story. Oh, yeah. And people always just want to show you, hey, a safari um, or we're just saving the kid. And that's saving not to the say that there's not issues within Ghana. But that's not the only story, right? So a lot of times we're just hanging out, having dinner parties. Like we went over to my homegirl Ruby's house and it was just amazing. Like just beautiful vibe, beautiful people eating traditional wow. Ghanaian dishes. She was trying to tell me that the Ghanaian jello was better, but okay. Um, <laughs> so I was just telling you, there's so many different sides. And like one of the things I love doing is just educating wow. people to show them. And most people are like, oh my, when I put it on my Instagram, so it's like, yo, people are living like this out of Ghana. I was like, yo, yes. Then another thing, people don't know how diverse the art scene is. The art scene is crazy and well respected around the world. And then so my brother, man, that I ran into in Ghana, I got introduced to him um, through Opal, uh, is one of the greatest artists in the world. We went to his place and actually uses recycled goods throughout Ghana. And when I say his work is respected, he's got a piece in the Vatican. Facebook bought literally like the weight 600 pounds yeah. that is in the office there on Hathaway in Silicon Valley. When we're in the Kempinski taking a picture, like he's got this huge piece behind him. So, like the art scene out there is crazy and they have so many amazing artists, you know, within Ghana. Wow. You know, I was in Ghana for two weeks. And so this is not all that I'm going to share with you. And I have so many more in-depth stories, right? So I told you I got my sister, Miss St. John, and then, you know, Pops. You know, he did a whole basketball camp um, in Ghana for the kids. Oh, I think he was expecting like 150, then like 300 showed up. Um, you know, he was the second Ghanaian NBA player yeah. ever in the NBA. Happy. And then Opal, you know, co-founder of Black Lives Matters was out there. Oh, and yeah? Had such an amazing time. And then my, my new brother, brother that I met there, Mr. Mano, John, you know, got to go to his husband's house. That's Richard, what I said, and he was just sharing, you know, the vision of what so many people have for this new wow. Ghana with, you know, new medical facilities, right. new, just so many things where so many people are moving back because they see the opportunity. And I saw it myself. And just also like the roots, the culture, where you're in a place and you're like, wow, I'm not even a minority here. I just feel like a normal person. And the energy, like, <laughs> my God, my God, my people, they are so right. calm and the spirit oh, is so right. beautiful. <laughs> the culture is so good. Really and so in the full episode, you know, I'm gonna dive into, you know, these individual stories and, you know, what they have that to share and what we did. Did that name come yet, babe? Bro, did you... <laughs> We're nearly um, at the end, babe. We're nearly at um, the end. Come on, no, no, come on. Bro, I know that guy is the millionaire, you know, the one selling scrub. He say he sells scrub and now he... Before and now he's a millionaire. Oh man. Oh, I forget his name, bro. And, uh, uh... On the ground. And then also, we went outside of Accra um, to some of the most beautiful places in Ghana. And I'll be sharing those with you. So make sure that you subscribe. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that. But yeah, like I said, there is just so many amazing things to do. And I was just there for two weeks. But now I want to end talking about December. Like I said, I've made the ultimate guide below if you want to find out everything to do in detail about December and at any time, you know, throughout the year. And then, like I said, I talked to so many different people. When you talk about Afrochella, you want to know about Afrochella? I was actually with the founders. I went yeah. there, you know, talking to the big homies Alvin and Kwame. And I went to, like, their studios, the BBN, the Z Studios. You know, Lauren Hill just pulls up there randomly. They've got a lot of the biggest artists, you know, in Ghana that record there. There's just so many amazing people that I connected with, you know, during my time there. Even yeah, Mr. Chocolate, you know, you're hearing his story. <laughs> And now he's one of the biggest, you know, fashion icon. Literally, that's a lot of trend when it comes to, you know, African clothing in general. So that's a lot of the trend in the new way before. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and end here. Any questions, you know, hit us, hit us in the comment. You know, we'll be sure to get them answered. And make sure you check out that guide. And another thing, the year of the return. People want to know about this. Like, people are like, oh my God, who's coming? I hear this person's coming. But then also, people just want to be connected to their roots. They want to know where they, you know, where they come from. And so one big thing um, that I found out, there's several different DNA tests that you can take, right? And they actually have African 
ancestry. And so I put in a link below to that. The double NAACP was out there while um, you know she was, and I know a few people that know the founder of African Ancestry. So I was like, let me see if I can find, see if I can give you guys a special discount. Like, I don't know at the time of recording, but hopefully, you know, I can reach out to her and get y'all um, a discount. Like, because that one will actually break it down by like what tribe you know you are from, and you know goes really deep with that. But um, all in all, I gotta send a big shout out to my homies Nate and Yuri. They helped film this entire project. And I was just experience, you know, wow. filming something on the motherland. We got so much more Nathan. stuff coming for Ghana. I'm so excited. And many shout out to oh, Isaiah. Yeah, from the the front, the dance of blood, you know, blood this blood amazing noise. music here. And then just shout out literally to Ghana. Um, and I want to send an amazing shout out you know, to even the president's office and really standing behind tourism <laughs> and getting behind everything. It looked like you that. Just you know? drop in it, you know, just drop it down, just go into the president's office. Guys. It was the president's office, yeah. yeah. He was that important guy. Yeah. Bro, you know, you know how it looks like? It looked like a stool back in the day. They are, they are. Really? <laughs> you know the stool you sit on? Back yeah. in the day, back in the day, they are. There are kings used to have a stool, it's called the golden stool and they used to sit on it so they, now the stool they make it, they make the building look like You see the stool? Like, you see the stool, sir? It's a stool? Yes, yeah, <laughs> book, book, book stool <laughs> So that's what it is <laughs> okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying the structure to everything He's here with book When did you guys, did you guys organize all this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Look, look, look. He gave us an opportunity you know, to come into the office and talk about you know, some of the things that we've seen and that we feel could be made better. And like I said, I just want to thank everybody there on ground. I really feel that Ghana is going to become one of the top places to visit in the world because of the amazing people within the countries. <laughs> within, the, within the country. But anyways, I'm out of here. Take care. Man, wow. you know, as a Gambian, eh, I, I feel jealous of Ghana. Ghana is doing great, right? I know. I can't oh, wait till we go visit. Oh, man. We used to have something similar to this, like when he say year of return. Yeah. We used to call it a uh, home, homecoming festival. Yeah. Oh, but now. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Huh? Don't do that anymore. You just disappeared, you know. We got they should do that. Ghana, and they make on 300 something million out of just. Yeah, tourism. Visiting tourism. Oh man. It's the best thing, like on like, that year of return. God damn bro. Yeah. They're doing great. Yeah, so if you guys like that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe as it's always up. Yep, that might be the end of our uh, reacting. Yep. Yep. Thanks to this. Yeah. As it's uh, <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Say look, look bye. up there, up there, up there, look up there. Look, 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 look. Look up there. Uh, uh, Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Nah, no. Nah, he's like that. He's like that. Yeah. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.